Hi and welcome to Mrs. Cotton Candy's Darling Life. Hello there my darlings. I hope you're all having a, a happy Tuesday. And yes, today is Tuesday if you can believe that already. Um, today I have um, a thrift haul uh, for you guys. I hope you guys will enjoy the haul. Um, this is sort of like a collective, I guess, a collective thrift haul um, from uh, I think about three different, um, different thrift stores. Um, so I'm so excited to share this of uh, the things that I found with all of you So I guess I'll just get right into it, but I hope you're all doing well and enjoying your week and um, So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first uh, thrift store I went to um, I found this um, really great um, Ice cream container and it looks like an ice cream cone and you know that I kind of I collect ice cream cone kind of things like on um, my vanity you guys have probably seen on my vanity in my different uh, videos that I have a, cl um, a collection of uh, ice cream cones but this is like this is huge and inside needs to be cleaned but this was only a dollar seventy five and I just thought this was great and I can hold some different things in here like you could put like more if you had makeup brushes like I don't really have very many but if you have lots this would hold a lot of makeup brushes or um, you can just use this in your craft room or just a whole bunch of different things that this could hold. And I just thought that was so cute. <laughs> so yay for that. I also, sorry for that I'm going to be bending down here. Um, I also got these Command brand um, hooks and they were in package. I actually got two, two of these, but um, I've already put one up and um, they were only 75 cents. So Actually, this was at a different thrift store. I was trying to do them in order, but obviously they went in the wrong order. But anyways, this was from a different one than I found the ice cream cone. But I got two of these. Back to the first thrift store. I got this um, wheel of lace, and it's like lilac, if you guys can see. It's pretty. And, um, you know, this was only 75 cents too, and it looks kind of vintage-like. I thought I could use this in my craft room, so I got that, picked that up, and the next thing that I got, oh my gosh, I was so excited to have found this, I've never seen any, I've never seen anything like it, and it's actually from, um, Hallmark, um, and it's this apple, this caramel apple, and it's got this little stick, you lift the lid, there's the lid, if you guys can see, <laughs> and here's the bottom of it, and I just thought this was so cute, and it says, on the back, um, hand wash only, and it's Hallmark license. Well, it says made in China, but um, I just thought that was so, so cute. This caramel apple. <laughs> I just thought it was awesome, and it was only a dollar seventy-five. So I just thought that was great. I thought I could use this in my um, fall decor. So really cute, and you can hold things in there. It needs to be cleaned out too, but um, just thought that was great great find okay back to another okay this is the second um thrift store i went to um i found this really fabulous shabby chic jar and, and here it is it's quite large and it's got like um, the lace and the roses and you guys know how much i've been enjoying shabby chic in the top this is glass but the top is like a plastic you know whatever um this was a little pricey but um i still got it because I can use it for um, my craft room because those are the colors kind of what I'm going for in my craft room so and update quick update on craft room it is coming along very nicely I know it's taken me a very long time but you should soon have a video I can't promise anything but when I do have it done I will be showing you guys and so far I'm so excited on how it's all turning out so awesome I love this I also found at the same thrift store this really sweet um, little teacup, and this was only 50 cents. It didn't come with a saucer, it didn't have a saucer, but I just love the handle on that and the little um, flowers there. So just, <laughs> just love that. You guys know I'm collecting the teacups, and I got another teacup, and this is, oh my gosh, my husband actually found this for me, and this is so pretty. It was kind of expensive, um, and this did come with the, the saucer, 
And it's like a teal color. And it has gold on the rim. It needs to be cleaned out as well. But oh my gosh, my darlings. This little teacup reminded me of, if you've seen the movie, uh, Mary Antoinette. This is kind of what this reminded me of. And I just thought this was so darling. So I had to pick that up. And it was a good find by my husband. So I was really into really like that. I'll just set that there. Um, I also, um, from the same thrift store, I found some movies. Um, I got this one. It's called An Affair, uh, An Affair to Remember. It's a classic. A lot of you probably have already seen it. It's got Cary Grant and Deborah Kerr in it. And um, I'm currently watching this. So I um, thought that was a great um, classic to add to my, my videos. I also found this Jerry Lewis as the... Patsy and I've just gotten to know Jerry Lewis I think he's a famous like comedian and I'm sure most of you know who he is um, so anyways I'm looking forward to seeing this and hopefully having some laughs so if you guys have seen any of these movies that I've I've got please let me know down below I'd love to hear it. and if you like them or didn't like them and then the last one I got is the complete series of Gidget. But I believe there's other ones, not just this one. But this is the complete one of the one I got here. And it's got um, Sally Fields in it when she was, like, really young. So I picked that up. See how young she is there? Surf's up with Sally Fields. And there she is on the back. Just darling. So I'm looking forward to um, watching that. So I got the Gidget. Jerry Lewis, the Patsy, I think I'm saying that right, I don't know, and an affair to remember. So I thought that was a great find on these um, movies. So to add to my movie collection. So happy about that. And then the next thing I have to show you guys, it's going to be kind of hard because it's um, big, sort of big. Um, I got this really um, very darling, cute, pink... Um, house coat and I just loved it because of the the pink ruffles on here and it's quite quite long um so I just and it kind of looks vintage so I had to pick that up and it does it does fit me and I just thought this was so darling and you know Mrs. Cotton Candy it's her colors and I just had to pick it up with the little pink ruffles I just thought that was so sweet so I got that and I hope you guys are seeing that I'm on my older camera so I can't see the heck is going on I'm sorry about that but I went to use that other one and there was no battery that's probably I don't know if that happens to you guys to go to pick up your camera there's no battery and it's like oh so thank God I have a second camera so that did have the battery and then the last I think two things or three things I have here are from Value Village um, that I got and I was so excited about this find um, I hope you guys are gonna be able to see it too because it's kind of big it's this little hat box and I just thought this was darling, and it was in good shape, and it didn't um, stink or anything like that. And it has this cute lady, so it kind of looks like Mrs. Cotton Candy there with the hat and the gloves and her little dog. I mean, I know that's a little different kind of dog than Teddy is, but, you know, I have a little dog as well. So this is the front of it, and it's got a big, like, it's got the handle. So I just thought that was great, a great find. And that's just the inside of it. So I was so excited about this. I was excited about a lot of these items that I found. Um, I also found another um, another movie, which I was really excited to find. I've never heard of this movie before, but I am a John Candy fan. He's a Canadian. John Candy, this is a, it seems like a good idea at the time. Never heard of this movie before, so I'm looking forward to seeing this. Uh, John Candy, it seems like a good idea at the time. So let me know if you've seen this, you guys. And if you have, if you liked it, it says, What levels will a man stoop to win back his beloved ex-wife? So yay for that. And then one last find here, you guys. And actually, this is another find that my husband found for me. I couldn't believe it. Um, it's in this little in this little bag, so I'm going to open it so you guys can have a better look at what it was. I couldn't believe it. Um, it's this Minnie Mouse brass hook that you hook onto the wall. 
And it says Disney on it, but it's got Taiwan on the back of it as well. Um, but how awesome, what an awesome find for me, because, you know, I love Minnie Mouse. And I realize Minnie Mouse is like, you know, for younger girls, but hey, I just, I just love her. Anyways, from Disney. And I just thought that was awesome. So that is my thrift haul, collective thrift haul finds. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoy the video and let me know down below what you guys are finding at your thrift stores or if you're doing yard sales or going to flea markets or antique. I'd love to he hear um, what's your favorite um, place to go to find your finds. Like if it's an a flea market or yard sales, I'd love to I'd love to hear you guys. Let me know down in the comments. I love hearing from you all. I love commenting back and you guys are awesome. And remember, believe in yourself. I believe in you and you truly will go far. I love you all. Take care and have a fabulous day and thanks for watching. Bye!